Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. It would appear that we are in a but thou must situation with Rope Snake, who has insisted in the last episode that we let him help us out, so... That's what I'm talking about. I knew I could expect great things from you. Actually, I think it's us expecting great things from you, isn't it? But, yeah, okay. Here goes no something. <laughs> Alright, Earthbound music. Gotta love it. But man, that looks ridiculous. I mean, six birds in one cage... That's, I don't even know why I bring it up. I love how the cage has a little bow on top of it like the Mr. Saturns do. That's funny. Uh, and yeah, I'm not gonna bring up the obvious here. You either see it or you don't, but... Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh-oh, looks like he's struggling a little bit there. That's not good. What about all those promises you made? You know, it's like the door say, What was that promise that you made? Sorry. Wow, we're drifting down. <clears throat> oh, we're coming back up now. Wait, what? We're not on anymore. Oh, where are those birds gonna go? They're gonna be trapped in that cage forever. Unless they're smart enough to fly back to Saturn Valley, maybe. Or off to the rest of the world, wherever that is. And now it's a remix of the summer's music. If uh, You have to listen really close to hear that, though. You bet on me, but it seems you've lost, huh? Yep, I fell. And as you did, as did you after you bet on me. I think that after a while I'm gonna act like a fat worm and hide myself inside a hole. So don't talk to me. You're open, cool, rope stick. You want to do is dead. In a tight, quiet voice, I say so long. Well, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. You got us where we wanted to go. So now we got one of two things we can do. We can either go to Snowcat Mountain, which is way the hell out of the way, and I don't really want to do that, or we can go into the ocean, which is what I'm gonna do. And, you know, you could talk to people around the beach to get clues about how to actually do this, but I'm just going to jump right in here, because chances are I'm going to end up back on the beach anyway. Basically what happens here is you're going across the ocean, and you're going to run out of oxygen if you don't get your oxygen refilled from these guys right here. And yes, uh, you know, if you're feeling weird about what you just saw, huh, whatever. I know they supply us with oxygen, but these machines just aren't my thing. They're really demoralizing. Really? I, can, I like him a lot. <laughs> I love the guy's reaction. He's like, okay, stay away from me, dude. <laughs> Whatever. That's, that's okay. I don't like when people use the word demoralizing to talk about stuff like that, though, you know, because it's like, you know, if morals had been invented by a person, what do you think their motivation would have been, you know? Why do you think that they say, don't kill, don't steal? The reason they say that is because of how it actually affects the other person. It's not because some... Yeah, because it's just randomly wrong to do it. It's wrong because of how it affects the other person. So, why would you say that, you know, something like that is wrong when that doesn't affect anybody? I don't know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, you can fight monsters down here, too. Your oxygen level won't really have any bearing on your performance in battle, but a Virgo bracelet. I'll have to take some time and equip that in a second here. Trying to avoid these. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should show these. Let's see. You encountered a round fish in its cohort. That's weird. Okay, I, my sense of rhythm is not so great this morning, and I'm not that great at this song anyway. So I'm just gonna kind of... Yeah, you can probably use thunder and actually do a lot better on these, but oh well. Oh shit. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse. Vacuum attack, well that sucks. <laughs> hey, can we be any more obvious here? <laughs> Alright, fine, that was that was a boring battle with a bunch of weird enemies, I don't know. But as you can imagine, the experience is really good. By the time we finally get back to that snowcat mountain, we're gonna be walking all over the enemies there. Comment posted on Let's Play Secret of Mana 8. I didn't see who it was, dang it. Yeah, this pink screen, for some reason, makes me nauseous. I don't know. But, yeah, I suppose. So, I think, I believe you can get a map if you head down this way, to the right. Yeah, it's over here. But then you probably want to go back to the oxygen machine that you just refilled at. Here, so here's a look at this place right here. This is just the beginning. And there's, like, all this here. And it goes all the way down, and then it comes back up again, so... 
more than anything else, more importantly than anything else, is just keeping your oxygen full, because if you run out of oxygen, you get teleported back to the beginning. So... So you have to work out your path, like, immediately after you get your oxygen refill and make sure you're going the quickest possible way to get to the next one, because they cut it pretty close on these. And for that very reason, I really kind of can't stand this place, but, yeah, what are you going to do, you know? Oh, great, we got uh, a Navy squeal. I believe that's what he is. Looks like there's no getting out of this. da 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 Huh? Dude, my rhythm is really off. This is an easy song. What the heck? Oh, we got a... Uh... Oh, Boney's gonna die. I don't believe this. Yeah. Man, how could I have let that happen? I don't believe I just did that. Oh, uh, uh, let me go into items. Yeah, if you go into your menus and stuff like that, um... Your oxygen won't run out while that's while you're doing stuff in here, so thank goodness for that. I'm actually gonna save that. That um good kids turn, because I can sell that. And let's heal up. Oh, I didn't need to do it to her, what was I thinking? Okay. I'm gonna take the left path here. Hopefully we can get to the next machine here. Get out of my way, fishy! Arg. Oh man, this is cutting it way too close here. There's a fish attached to a fishing pole. Oh crap, well I didn't even see one there. Did they really expect you to get that far with that? Huh. Now, this is only the second time I've been through this area, ever. Oh. <laughs> the last time I played, I... You know, I stopped because of this place, so... <laughs> Needless to say. I was actually going to walk around the beach a little bit and show you some of the stuff that's going on there, but that's okay. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? I think I'm actually going to skip that animation when they give you oxygen. Not the animation because of what he's doing, but because just that it takes so long to do it, that's all. Hello. Alrighty, let's try that again. You know, actually, let's try going to the right, but I may have hesitated for too long there. See, there's an oxygen machine here, so what you can do is come down here and get your refill here, and then go down the left side. I think that's what I should have done the first time. I really hate places like this where you have to move slower than usual, because that means less progress and I get less done in the video, which is... Bleh, you know. As for playing the game, it's not a problem then, but... Ooh, look at here. Lucas got a magic tart. What's over there? Huh. We got two paths to explore here, so you want to make sure you got full oxygen for each one. Don't go halfway down one and then come back and go down the other one. You know, you have to make up your mind about that path right now. Yes, yes. Oh, these fishes. I think you can actually talk to them, I'm not sure. Just make sure you're taking the quickest possible path here. There's a hole. Oh, you can't go down the hole. Wait, what the heck? Shoot, I missed something over there. <laughs> well, why don't we go back up and check that out first before we go any further, because obviously this is the only way to get down here, so... Oh, boy. What do we got? Carefree jellyfish. Have I ever fought these before? I don't think I've ever fought these before. Jeez, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I can barely hear the music. I was just going off of Kumatora sound effect to figure out the rhythm of that. Oh man, are we gonna make it? We gotta get this present. Gotta get the prezi. Double jerky, big whoop. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, oh, I think we're too late. Ah, oh, too late. I'm gonna blow. All right, so that's. Oh well, I don't have enough time to get very far down there again. So I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as meeting you back there or whatever. Oh, Lucas, you should take a break here once in a while. A little nap in the sun will really revitalize you. Will you take a break? Yeah, what the hey? You can use it. <laughs> Maybe after we've rested, you can give us the bad news, huh? There's boots here. Um, these appear to be a pig mask's shoes. Uh -huh. And that's the... If you talk here, there's a crab that comes out of the ground that tells you what to do about going into the ocean. 
And there seems to be a roasting pig out here. Wink the words Oscar and Meyer appear to me in a dream, but I don't know what they mean. Oscar, Meyer. <laughs> yes. No drinking, no swimming, no swimming, no drinking, and swimming while hallucinating is absolutely out of the question. Yeah, so um, I guess that's all we're going to do on this episode. Uh, sorry I didn't make more progress, but I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I may have to do a few practice runs next time around or something. I'll see you later. Bye.